Hi. What would you do if you had problems you couldn't handle? No place to turn. I'm Tennessee Ernie Ford, and the answers are likely to be found in this typical Salvation Army Center. Your usable materials are needed for work therapy. Call for the Salvation Army Red Shield Truck. Thank you, and bless your little pea-picking heart. The American Association of University Women. We're businesswomen, artists, homemakers, professionals. We share the common link of a degree. We're interested in the needs of our community, the nation, and the world. If you are a graduate of a four-year college or university, you can share in the dynamic experience of membership in the American Association of University Women. In the Puget Sound area, call 626-3737. In other areas, call 1-800-424-9717. Well, we're going to start this afternoon's action off with a tag team match. The Samoans going against Steve Pardee and Tommy Rogers. Well, this ought to get it going for you. On behalf of KCPQ Channel 13, I want to welcome you to Big Time Wrestling. Also, uh, sister stations out there, the affiliates in the Yakima Valley area, KIMA Channel 29. You see our show there every Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. And then again, a cape EPR in the Tri-Cities. Big time wrestling. Watch for Jack Webb commentary and interviews with our wrestlers for local events over there. And the combatants are in the ring right now. And uh, the next voice you hear will be that of Don Owen. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner the great Tia and Chief Tapu, the Samoan champions. Their opponents in this quarter, the team of Steve Pardee and Tommy Rogers. Chief Tapu is the taller of the two, and the maroon trunks, the Samoan gentleman. Chief Tapu has the longer hair. The great Tia is the heavier of the two men. And they're taking some verbal abuse from the Pacific Northwest fans here at the arena. And of course, Tommy Rogers and Steve Party are their opponents. Steve Party has the red stripes on the side of his blue trunks. And Tommy's the other gentleman with the white boots on. Trying to figure out what the crowd is chanting, and I can't... Uh... I think it goes something like this. Whale on the beach. Oh. Whale on the beach. Okay. That's something like the sheep is a freak. You That's know? right along the same lines, all right? Whatever it is, gets them mad. The referee, National Wrestling Association official, Mr. Sandy Barr. Folks, coming up in Seattle on Wednesday the 8th, we're going to give you more information about it. Wednesday the 8th, if you've never seen one of these bouts before, it'll be a first time in the Pacific Northwest. Sheikh Abdullah Hussein has challenged Hacksaw Sawyer to an Iranian death match. Well, I'm going to let you tell them what an Iranian death match is. If we have enough time between falls, I might just do that. I'll tell you this. It's probably one of the most vicious matches you'll ever see, even more so than a cage match, if the match goes off the way it should. Yeah, the way it's supposed to, yeah. We'll give you the number to call for tickets, too, in just a little bit. Steve Pardee starting for his team against the great Tia. Hey, you better pay attention, Pardee. With the three rows out at ringside. There's a side headlock right off the bat by Tia. Huge man. Hey, he sneaks in there and tags yeah, Tommy. The, yeah, he made the tag. Legitimate the tag. That boost with, hey, brother, where'd you come from? <laughs> he didn't even see that tag. Right away, applies Same the headlock. Move. Look and at this. He tagged again. Tag again. <laughs> Tia said, what's going on here? That's right, Tommy. They tag. Legitimate tag. Referee Sandy Barr saw it. There's a standing arm bar by the wrist. Yeah, and he makes the tag, tag again. You know, I think these two young gentlemen made their battle plans before they came out they here tonight. Did. Yeah, they did some homework. They did some homework, Dutch. And some young Samoan gentlemen in the ring now is Chief Tapu. There's a hip lock by Tapu. Oh. Oh. Kind of. 
Nothing like humility. Right. And that is nothing like humility. <laughs> the... <laughs> well, uh... Yes, Tapu, you have an arm on the right side of your body. Yeah. Very good. Billy Jack may argue with that, for, with that bicep. No contest. Right. Billy Jack makes everybody look like a boy. It's disgusting. He's, he's <laughs> deformed. <laughs> he's got muscles where he shouldn't have muscles. That was a beautiful move by Tommy Rogers. Excellent move on his part. Secret to a tag team match is trying to keep your opponents on your side of the ring <laughs> away from their corner. Tommy trying to irritate Tapu now. I think he's, he's, he's managing. He's succeeding at that, all right. Uh-oh. No! Oh! <laughs> They're both outside. They tried to set Rogers up. Tia hooked him on the ropes. Tapu hit the other ropes, came across with a flying knee. Rogers had enough presence of mind to get out of the way. Tapu drove the knee into his, his partner's chest. He looked around, he was gone, turned around, and Rogers hit him in the face with a drop kick, and he went upside down out of the ring onto the concrete. So both of the Samoans were outside the ring taking this over. Well, the great Tia is back in there with Tommy Rogers. Tommy leading the uh, cheer now, the chant. Tommy said, come on, come on, look. Oh, there's a boot to the midsection. A take down by the Tia and applying that devastating, well, that's the one that'll put you right out of it. That's got that muscle right behind it. Look yeah. under uh, when Rogers lifts his right arm. Look at the bruise under his right arm on, yeah. on, that, uh, on that lat muscle there. He just got that from uh, Tia, Tia Lee uh, earlier in the bout. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't even know he has it right now. His adrenaline's going. He'll feel it tonight after he gets home and cools down, decides to put his feet up. And oh, yeah. He'll feel it. Look at that. What is that hold again, Dutch? That's a nerve hold up on the up around the neck muscle there. There's an elbow by Rogers. Another, another, another one elbow. Releases the hole. Oh. There's a tackle. Oh, he sent that big man's pro hip block. Flying hip block back to that neck again. He's working on that nerve. Not only is that painful, but it can uh, render you absolutely absolutely immobile hey, you fans in the uh puget sound area on sunday december 5th we're going to be in shelton washington and on the 12th we're coming back into tacoma washington in december you'll be seeing us over in pendleton on the 19th sunday the 19th of december and then in yakima J.M. Perry Institute on Monday, the 20th of December. And whatever you do, fans, don't forget, we got a super big card coming up here on the 8th, Iranian death match, but the last week of the month on December 26th, the day after Christmas, we have the annual Big Time Wrestling Super Christmas card, December 26th. You better get a hold of Bobby Vroom at Fidelity Lane Ticket Office and get your seats early because it always sells out. What's that number, okay. Don? Chief Tapu body slam Tommy Rogers. That number uh, to call for the uh, tickets? Yes, sir. 624-4970. That's the number to call. 624-4970. There are reports coming into the Northwest around Christmas time. My partners and I are negotiating. We're trying to get Snuka. Matt Bourne and Professor Fuji may be on those cards. We're tentatively scheduling. You'll just have to keep watching KCPQ. Channel 13 here, right here, every Saturday. There is a lady 
It is the second love of my life. She works with KCPQ. She is the station manager. And she is a pretty lady. Her name is Juliana Guy. Juliana. And Juliana sent us a very nice letter the other day. And it was a renewal of our contract with them for another year with KCPQ. And we want to congratulate her oh. for having the en enormous amount of intelligence to do that for yes. the Puget Sound fans. <laughs> It takes a great deal of wisdom, and uh, bless your heart. <laughs> she's, she's a pretty lady. Mind you, all the girls at Channel 13 are pretty. The guys are just so soft. <laughs> oh, the great Tia really working over Tommy Rogers' neck. You can't turn your back for a second, can you, down that double cross you? Uh-uh. Now, Capoos, oh, a chop right, right into Rogers' neck. Now he's, he's got Sandy Barr's back turned, and he's just absolutely trying to crush Tommy Rogers' throat. Now he's standing there like, uh, what? Um, <laughs> did he do something wrong? Come on. Are we kidding? Now, Tia going back to work on that nerve. Rogers. I oh. showed you why that hurt you so much. Yes, you showed me that, yeah. And that hurts. Here comes the Chief. Rogers trying to get over to make a tag. He's been in there a long time now. And they're going back to work again on his neck. Right. There, that's one way of getting him over there. Got the Tommy back. Rogers picks him up on his back. Here comes Steve Pardee. Oh. And he is hot. He's ready. Oh, I can't he's repeat just... what he said, but oh. Into the turnbuckle. Pardee stops him. He throws that pool oh. here. Down goes the Simone. There's a fat body. Oh. Oh, look at him. Did you see that? Woo. You see how high he went? Look at Pardee. A right body here. Slam. That's 250 pounds. We're both in there. Watch out, look, look, look out. Uh-oh, hold on. There it is. Head-on collision right in the middle of the ring. The Samoan. There's a thumb. Referee Sandy Bar's back was turned, getting Tommy Rogers out of the ring, and Tia, he shot a thumb in there. That was pulling the nose on your face. While his back is turned, Tapu's trying to get a hold of him. Oh, uh, that was questionable, too. Boy, there's something to be dealt with. You can't turn your back for a second. Look at this. In and out, in and out. No one's going back there. Now, Tia's is tilting Rogers. Oh, he's, he's... That's not Rogers. That's party. That's Rogers pulling Tia off. Right. Sa uh, the referee's having a heck of a time keeping up with everything going on. Oh, that's the great Tia. And now Tapu's got a hold of Pardee. Into the ropes. Oh. oh. An elbow, right? Oh. Yeah. You ever get hit so hard sometimes you can't do anything but sit oh. there and you, never, you, you, you want to throw up? It hurts you so bad? Yeah. Well, you can hear that clear up here. That's what that feels like. There's a suplex, standing suplex on Pardee. Oh. 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 That had to hurt. If he kicks out from that. One, two. He kicked he out. He did. He's in better shape than I thought he was. Oh, look at that. A boot right in the stomach. Well, that's a great T in there with Pardee. Pardee applying some right hands to the... That's to make the tag on Rogers. Oh, Rogers is in there. It's Rogers and a great tear. Oh, and a drop kick. And a Look body slam on the Chief. Oh, forearm in the back of the neck. Tia makes the tag on the Chief Tapu. Tapu comes in with a shot to the rib. Oh, right in the head. Oh. Oh, boy, Rogers.
Rogers came down that time with icicles on him. Uh, and he kicks out. Rogers kicks out. Tapu makes a tag with oh a Tia and Tia applies a boot and a knee. Boy, that Tommy's eyes are crossed. Yeah, he's he's dazed. The that's the end of the mound. I'll tell you, I'll tell We've you, Party and Rock. Party and Rogers lucked out on that one. We've got a draw. The Mullins are a team to be reckoned with. We've got a tag team draw. Whoa. And we just got started. I'll be talking oh, to Chief uh, Tapu and the great Tia here. Don, I've got to get up and do an interview. Okay, we'll be right back after this time out. America's defense against sneak attack is an early warning system that stretches an invisible electronic line across the top of the continent. Now Vertronics, an electronics corporation that supplies the Air Force, major corporations, and hospitals with advanced technology, such as this digital thermometer, has developed an early warning burglar detection system for your home or business that stops the intruder before he gets in. It's called the bug. The very moment an intruder attempts to enter, the bug sonic design picks up his sound, flooding the house with light setting off a siren powerful enough to scare off any burglar. The bug works. It works without unsightly wires, and you can set it up yourself. It's an affordable burglar detection system that detects and deters the intruder, and this is important, before he gets in. So call 800-228-1010 for a fact-filled brochure about the bug by Vertronics. Call toll-free 800-228-1010. When you need a barn, shop, warehouse, or garage, you'll get your money's worth at Town & Country Steel Buildings of Western Washington. Ten years of experience with over 2,500 buildings completed is a proven track record of dependability and quality work. And at Town & Country, quality means solid steel-clad construction reinforced with sturdy wood frames. Choose from an exceptional array of buildings, garages, and functional storage buildings for every purpose and every description. If you've got horses, Town & Country Steel Buildings has riding arenas and barns. And if you're in business, Town & Country has you covered with a super selection of commercial steel buildings. Your steel buildings now, operators are standing by at 373-1555 Bremerton, 743-1555 Linwood. Opera ends December 15th. 